Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Haley with Haley with a Flare. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and like. And today we're gonna to be talking about the top five best things and worst things on the Celebrity Apex. I'm filming from my stateroom. It's our last night here. But while it's all fresh in my memory, let's talk about it. Number one for things that I really like. Now this isn't in any particular order, but the thing that jumps to my mind first is the Wi-Fi on this ship. The Wi-Fi has been fantastic it is starlink wi-fi i've been able to do teams calls i've done video calls i've done wi-fi calling for work for the probably about 10 hours worth of work that i ended up doing this week even though it was a vacation the wi-fi has just been fantastic no matter where i've been on the ship number two one of the absolute best things has been our room we are in a sky suite if you want to see the full tour of that it's on my channel now this room in particular is magic carpet sky suite which means we have a bigger balcony and you will at different times occasionally see the magic carpet going down that didn't affect our trip but it leaves us a huge balcony with two loungers let me show you some clips here a lot of great space great storage and you can actually stream netflix in this room on the tv which we enjoyed late night and then of course this massive balcony that I was referencing. We spent a lot of time out here. It's nice that it has loungers and a sitting area. This room also has controls that you can do from your phone. Check out the tour here. Number three will be the retreat. Now we have done a suite on another celebrity ship. We've been on the reflection. Those don't necessarily have the full retreat pool deck and sun deck like this ship does. And it was a great experience that suite experience on celebrity that includes the lounge, Lumine um the sun deck it's just it's a really great feature so not only is the room amazing and also comes with a butler all the suites in the retreat come with a butler you get this amazing retreat sun deck now i took the noise out because it was super windy there's a bar up here during the day you can actually order lunch from the pool deck they have these nice features like cold wet towels aloe, sunscreen, even sunglasses, just some really nice features. This is the backside of the sun deck and the backside of the sun deck also has access to the retreat lounge. You can either get to it from the elevators or if you're in the retreat sun deck area, you can walk down the steps right here. It takes you right into the lounge. I mean, isn't this not a great view to watch sunset from? It's amazing. In here, there are canned beverages, drinks, and lots of snacks. Then of course we have Lumine. This is standard suite on any celebrity ship, but the food is absolutely divine. Number four is going to be Eden. Eden, there's hardly any words here, but what I've been saying to people is it's a true specialty dining experience. It's not something like when you see certain, you know, steak uh, specialty dining, steakhouse styles on different ships, which feel like an elevation of a main dining room or a sweet dining room menu. This was just such an amazing experience. The food was to die for. Like I said, the food was amazing. Now, if I have a recommendation, that lemon tart, the spicy chocolate cake, and this lobster, all that lobster, highly recommend that you give that a try and the crab cake for an appetizer. Number five, and I know this can change based on who's on board, the staff. The staff on this ship, not just from our stateroom attendant to our butler, but just every person that I've encountered, has been absolutely sweet. Um, I had Anita in the spa. She was great. Lennon, um, Atisha and Jay up at the retreat sun deck were fantastic. Just everybody going above and beyond. Um, you know, I know that we're in a suite so we get a little extra, but just truly, truly amazing. All right, now we're gonna move on to the worst features. Now, obviously we are on a beautiful brand new ship. We are privileged to be here. This is not, you know, a, oh, this is terrible and ruined my life kind of thing, but there were some quirks on this trip that I think are important to discuss. All right, number one, this ship is so loud. Now it's not loud per se as being rickety rack, crinkly all the time. But the way that the ship is lined out, especially in the middle where the Grand Plaza is, the Martini Bar, it is so loud. The music that comes out of the plaza, like, so we were sitting in areas like Craft Social, Fine Cut, um, over near the cafe, and I mean, even down sitting in the Grand Plaza by the Martini Bar, and it is so loud most nights. I mean, for example, when we were in 
fine cut. I keep wanting to call it prime cut. <laughs> and Jeff's yelled at me a few times on this video. Um, I mean, we were sitting across from each other and there were maybe eight other people in this restaurant and I could not hear Jeff. And I don't know if that's me getting older, but with the way the ship is designed and um, laid out, it is just, it's very, very loud in that main central area. Number two, I felt like the ship was lacking in standalone bars, and a lot of them tended to close kind of early. Um, I personally wasn't out as late as much as Jeff was, but you know, outside of the martini bar, I mean, Craft Social's kind of small sunset bar and the pool deck, there's just not a lot of bar and lounge activity outside of there. In our opinion, um, a lot of them closed at weird different hours, so that was kind of a struggle on this ship. And actually for us, the martini bars on Summit, Solstice, those classes of ship are actually a better setup that we like better. They have the ice tops, they have the seating all the way around the bar. Um, don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful, but personal preference. Number three is gonna be the casino layout on this ship. It kind of feels like it was an afterthought. Now, of course, if you're not a gambling person, this doesn't matter to you, but there's no casino bar. I do appreciate that Celebrities Casinos are smoke-free, but it's just, it's got this odd layout and it feels like they got the ship built completely and we're like, oh, we forgot to put a casino in. Like it's right next to these elevators. It's just kind of plopped out in this weird L shape. Um, and kind of the variety has been a little different compared to other uh, ships when it comes to slots. So the casino is just kind of a weird, like almost forgotten about thing. Number four is going to be seating. Um, unless you're going super late in the evening, finding somewhere to sit and enjoy a beverage is very difficult. Now there's a lot of cool kind of ergonomic style seating. Um, that looks great and some of it is very comfortable but you know another thing I look at it from the perspective is you know my father when he's cruising uses a scooter for him to get in and out of some of the seating as well it's either very low or the sides are tight for him to move out of that scooter and stuff um, would be really challenging for him and I think that yes it looks very stylish and fun but sometimes that functionality and these bigger pieces that are just wide and sit low take up more space or maybe smart, uh, smarter seating would have been a better option but um during those prime times i mean the cafe is full because it's all kind of looking in on the grand plaza craft social fills up really quickly because they have a bunch of couches in there um that's something we weren't necessarily the biggest uh fan of Number five is going to actually be some of the public area restrooms. So when you are on deck four near the uh, Grand Plaza, near Le Grand Bistro and Craft Social, the restrooms there are singles. And for an area that has such a high volume of traffic, there was just constantly a line. And I think you guys have seen through some of these critiques, it's just the layout of the ship is a little Quirky. I think my overall layout preference probably is Solstice class. Um, and I know I've heard that from a couple other people. While there's some really great features on this ship, um, the layout and some of these um, bathroom locations and singles just don't make a whole lot of sense. Now I'm going to throw in a bonus light for here because I thought about it as I was sitting here. Now typically when I cruise and I'm going to wait for all the trolls to make a comment, I don't do a lot of like eating in the buffet kind of situation. I will go in there and dip in if there's the Indian food's usually really good. But um, this ship in particular, the Ocean View Cafe was fantastic. Probably the best buffet food we've ever had on a cruise, great variety. I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot that I tried and like did not like the pizza place being moved to the back and having its own area. The pizza was great different theming like they had the italian day where they were filling cannolis for people the mexican day was great we ended up eating in there a couple of times and i usually never ever go in there because i like to do the seated at lumine um or the retreat sun deck so that was a little extra like thank you guys so much for watching this video we hope you enjoyed it if you need help with your next cruise do not forget to hit us up down below we would love to help you with that and don't forget to like and subscribe until then See you next time. Bye.